Hi everyone, welcome back to Lecture 5J of Useful Genetics, where we're going to introduce the very important two-hit model for cancer. We'll talk about retinal de development and a cancer of infants and small children called retinoblastoma, because this is a very good illustration of the two-hit model in action. We'll talk about sporadic and familial cases of retinoblastoma, and these terms apply to many other genetic diseases, not just cancers. And we'll talk about the two-hit model. So retinoblastoma is a tumor of the retina of the eye, as its name suggests. Here's a photo micrograph, the kind that would be seen by an ophthalmologist, showing the tumor as a white area growing on the surface of the retina. Retinoblastoma is often discovered sort of by chance because in photographs the where normal people um, will often produce what's called red eye when their photograph is taken with a flash because the retina reflects back red. If there's a tumor in the retina, the retina may reflect back white or just red with a white spot. In normal eye development, which is quite a cool thing, um, it starts, the eye starts just as a depression in a layer of cells on the surface of the embryonic head. And that depression forms a cup, and the cells inside the cup um, divide and differentiate to form the retina, the light-sensitive tissue of the eye. And retinoblastoma occurs when there's a mutation in the gene named RB for retinoblastoma. This gene encodes a protein whose normal job is to delay or inhibit cell division as the retina matures and it's time for the cells, the retinoblasts, the retinal precursor cells to stop dividing. But somatic mutations are quite common in retinoblasts, perhaps because they have to divide very rapidly to produce the, the very high de density of cells in our retina that gives us such sharp vision. So here's a question that should take you back to um, Module 4, but don't go back and look at Module 4. Instead, just think this question through. Given that the retinoblastoma gene encodes a protein that normally delays or inhibits cell division when cells shouldn't divide, what kind of mutation in RB would create an allele that causes cancer? Would it be a loss of function mutation or a promoter activation mutation? And would that mutation be dominant or recessive to the normal allele? 